Hello, this is Andrea with Chickettes, and today I'm going to show you a couple of cool nail art techniques using additives or pigmented powders. Um, what I have here today, I have three different colors that I'm going to use in my demonstrations. Uh, the green one is um, called CND Medium Green. These are CND additives. The blue one is Cerulean Blue, and the pink one is Hot Pink, H-A-U-T-E. And I've prepped my nails already, and I applied two coats of Ink Glacier Gel Polish. You can see ink here. Uh, this is Glacier number eight. And I um, did not top coat my nails yet. I'm going to use the tacky layer of the gel polish to apply the pigments. And the first thing I'm going to show you is just a simple gradient. Um, pigments are a great way to add a gradient on top of a gel polish. It's much easier than trying to create a gradient with the polish itself. Um, and so I'm just going to get started here. I have a nail art brush here that I'm using and I'll do a quick gradient uh, using this hot pink. And I'm just going to dip it in the powder and get a little bit on my brush and then tap it onto the nail. And I'm tapping this right into the tacky layer of the gel polish. And I'm going to apply it there and wipe off my brush a little bit and then I'm just going to start to pull it. And you can see it's creating a gradient effect. And now you can create a gradient using just one color on top of your polish. You can add a little more if you feel it's too thin. Just pat it on and then pull it. So I could leave it like that and top coat it, or I could add another color. And actually I'll take now the blue and just put the blue right on the tip. And I'm going to blend that down so it'll be a pink and blue gradient here. And there we go. And you can't even tell that I have white polish on the underneath. So you can completely change the color of your polish. Um, you can also blend colors to make different colors. So you can combine, you know, if you wanted to combine a, a red and a yellow, you could make an orange. Um, and you can layer um, colors on top to make different colors. Um, very simple. Next, I'm just going to, on my next nail, I'm just going to um, add different colors in different places, sort of random, uh, random colors. And then I'm going to create some nail art on top of that. And in general, you um, probably want to start with your lighter colors. All of my colors here are fairly dark, but if you had lighter colors like a yellow, you'd probably want to start with your lighter color and uh, work your way up to the darker colors. I'm just going to brush off the excess here and sort of blend them together. Okay, and if you follow my blog, you may have seen a, uh, a recent, uh, some recent nail art that I did where I added zebra stripes on top of pigments. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so I had to pause there for a second to get my uh, top coat ready. This is just a piece of foil and I've put uh, my gelish top coat, a little blob of top coat onto the foil. And I'm going to pull this back out away from the camera so you can see my nails again. Um, but just so you can see, I have a little dot of um, top coat on the foil and I'm going to use a dotting tool. And you can use a brush as well if you're more comfortable using a brush. I'm, I tend to be more comfortable using dotting tools for nail art and I'm actually going to use um, the smaller end of my dotting tool here. I'm going to dip it into the top coat and get a little bit on, my, on the end of my uh, dotting tool and now I'm just going to start randomly placing um, some zebra stripes onto my nail. 
I start from the outside so the thick end is on the outside and work my way in. Okay, I've added some random zebra stripes to my nail with the top coat and now I'm going to cure it in my LED light for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to take a lint-free alcohol wipe and just wipe off the excess pigment powder, the additive here, and what is left underneath is the design that I created with the top coat. Now you could leave it just like this or you could top coat it. I probably will add a layer of top coat when I'm done with my other demonstrations here. It just smooths out the nail a little bit and adds that protective layer to the, uh, the white base. Um, next I'm going to show you another quick technique. Um, it's very similar. I'm going to again apply a, uh, a random pattern onto my nail with the additives. Okay, I've applied a random powder with the pigments, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol, and I have some alcohol here in this little cap here, and it this is 91% alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I have tried this with 70% and it did not work, so the higher alcohol content seems to work a little bit better. But again, I'm going to use my dotting tool, and this time I'm going to dip it in the alcohol, and I'm going to add some drops onto the nail. And this is going to create a little water droplet effect. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. I'm going to create some random drops on my nail of various sizes. Now you can layer the droplets to make uh, some more unique effects. Um, just let the, the original drops dry before adding the second drop so they don't just run together into a big blob. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but now I have some water drop effects on uh, that nail. That's kind of cool, kind of unique. Um, I haven't mastered this technique yet, but it's something new that I learned and I just thought I would show you real quick. So you can top coat that and uh, you've got a little uh, water color effect there. Um, and also, one other thing you can do, I don't know if you saw my recent blog entry with um, the rainbow um, polka dots. Um, the technique that I did on my middle finger there with the zebra stripes, it's the same concept for the polka dots. So I'm going to show you that real quick. And uh, I'm just going to do that on my index finger where I painted the gradient. And again, I'm going to take my dotting tool and dip it into my top coat. And I'm going to add some polka dots onto this gradient now. Okay, I've added some polka dots and now I'm going to cure uh, in my LED light for 30 seconds. Okay, I've cured my polka dots and again I'm going to take a lint-free alcohol wipe and I'm just going to wipe off that excess uh, powder that's on my nail and it's going to leave behind the little colored polka dots. That's a really cool effect and uh, you could do any kind of pattern or um, uh, color, any kind of colors behind there. So you can see uh, the gradient. You can see the blue at the tip and it looks sort of purple in the middle and then pink at the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm also going to top coat then that uh, the ring finger and uh, seal in that watercolor effect. And one other quick tip I want to show you 
um, when you top coat the uh, the additives or pigment powders, um, a lot of times it you'll get a little bit of leftover powder on your brush, and you can easily just wipe that off before you put your brush back in the bottle. Again, you're going to use like a lint-free alcohol wipe um, and just wipe that excess pigment off of your top coat brush. Otherwise, your next manicure will have a little bit of uh, a little extra sparkle or a little extra color that you didn't anticipate. So if you can see my uh, top coat brush here, it's, a little, it's looking a little bit blue. So I'm going to just wipe that off before I put it back in my bottle. Now my top coat on all three of the demonstration fingers is cured and I can just use my alcohol wipe to wipe off all that excess powder and uh, clean up my nails. Okay, I've cured all of my nails and I wiped off the excess pigment powder and I'm left with these really cool designs. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, I just started playing with the additives myself and I'm learning these new techniques and I've received a lot of questions on the blog so I just thought I would give you a quick demonstration of how I achieved these looks and uh, the, you know the possibilities are endless uh, there's so much that you can do with the pigment powders and the additives and uh, it's just really a lot of fun so enjoy and I can't wait to see what you come up with